Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in this video I will show you how you can make these uh, ornaments and these are really fun and also easy to make and uh, great for uh, Christmas gifts or you can hang it on a Christmas tree or in a window or yeah it's a lot of fun you can uh, do with this uh, here and uh, here I'm using uh, for the tutorial I'm using this die from uh, Memory Box and it's a drop ornament die. So here you get many different sizes. Um, but you can use any die you like to. And if you don't have any uh, dies to fit or a die cutting machine, I also have a tutorial on how you can make your own shapes if you like to do that. So this uh, die here I used for all this. And I also used the Tim Holtz movers and shapers. So you can see one here, this is not a see-through, I just uh, made it so uh, it's the uh, different uh, papers on both uh, sides. So here I used the Christmas Carol from Graphic 45. So you can make it as a see-through or you can make it with the uh, papers inside. So I can maybe give you a close-up of uh, some of, uh, I, uh, of them I made here. And maybe show you, I used uh, this uh, glitter paper from uh, Mariana Design. So it's really beautiful and shiny. It comes in different colors. So, but uh, I know there are many brands uh, that's a good uh, quality. And uh, I also used to for um, to build them up to get the sequence inside. I used uh, this uh, foam board. So it's a stiff material. But here you can use a fun foam or you can use a felt or anything that uh, builds up. You can use shipboard also. So uh, just uh, build it up. This is a uh, three millimeter and I used uh, two of them. So it's about a quarter inch I built it up here. And I also use some uh, acetate and uh, maybe give you colors up here. One of them so it's a shaker with a lot of sequins inside. And I, I'm sorry for the glare here. Um, I try to adjust my lighting, but uh, there will be some glare in the tutorial. So I'm sorry for that. It's uh, the acetate. So, yeah. And uh, I can maybe show you the one I uh, filmed. I uh, have it on some black paper because it's not uh, dried up yet. So I use some stickles on here, on the pearls and so. So I try to lift it up, it's uh, still not uh, dried up the stickles here, so you can maybe see how it works. So from one of these um, um, uh, cuts you get this one, and uh, you get the next one, like this. And then you get one of this, and here. So this I just made, um, uh, I don't have any shaker inside here. so. But this is also a shaker. So. And a lot of uh, this uh, bling I used here is from my little dreamer. So I will link to her shop below. She has a lot of uh, beautiful embellishments. So yeah, so I can maybe give you a more close-up of some... You can do it really easy. You can just use some stickles around here. And here I just used, uh, I think it's a uh, poinsettia from a memory box and some branch here. And yeah, some sequins. And I used the snow inside this, but I'm not sure it's a good idea because uh, the snow won't go all the way down, as you can see, maybe. So, yeah, and I made this one. So, so I had a lot of uh, fun uh, making all this uh, different with uh, some different glitter paper. And here I just used uh, some regular. Uh, cream cardstock and uh, just uh, took some glitter on top, painted it on top to get the same ID. So if you don't have any glitter paper you can use regular paper. And here are the small cutouts, so this I'm supposed to go with this one. It's a glitter paper inside I cut here and here I just left this without uh, no cutting inside, just for a small little ornament. And uh, my friend uh, Linda here in Norway, she's at uh, Live Art Now. We are uh, talking a lot and we are sharing what we are doing and uh, she's become a really good friend of mine. And then we were talking about what we are going to make for Christmas and uh, we both uh, got a good laugh. 
because <laughs> we both uh, came up with the same idea. So uh, she is going to make, a, um, I think it's a snow globe uh, ornament. So she will also have a tutorial on that one. So I can't wait to see hers. So that will be so much fun. And I, we decided to post it on uh, the same day. So I will link to her um, tutorial below the video. Just click show more and uh, you will find all the links. So then I will start the tutorial and remember uh, use what you have and what you like to use. These are just some uh, suggestions so you don't have to go out and buy a lot of new things to make this one. So uh, I hope it will uh, be uh, inspiring and helpful and that you will maybe give it a try. So we will start with uh, layering this dice and here I'm using a magnetic uh, platform and uh, one uh, clear plate so then we can layer this on top and here I'm uh, not using the next one I go jump over one and use this so this is a base for it but here you can add on more if you like to uh, use up all the paper so so then I have this two left so this you can layer as you like to so then I try to lay them uh, position them a bit so So about, and uh, I like to use some masking tape. And here I'm using uh, Tim Holtz uh, tape. It's uh, easy to be removed after. So I will glue them all down. So this magnetic, this one, so I don't have to do it. But I like to be sure that they stay in place so all the cuts will be the same. So, and then we can start with the glitter paper and I'm going to take it face down and run it through my machine. And I like it to take it two times so I'm sure it will cut well out. So then we can remove this and it's uh, good to have a helping needle to get this out. So just pull them out. And then we're going to cut it one more time and then I will place it this side up because this die isn't uh, the same on both sides. So then I will do it the same, I will run it through two times. And uh, then we are going to take care of the foam board so, and do the same. I will take it two times. And then I will cut one more of these. So now it's all uh, cut out. And uh, when I cut this out, I told you this wasn't the same on both uh, sides. This die is the same on both uh, sides. So you can cut it uh, with a glitter paper down all the way if you like to. But if you're using uh, this die here or another die that's not the same on both uh, sides, you need to flip this paper. So, yeah. So then we are going to glue this together. And um, also I've cut some acetate. So I just took... Um, uh, this cut out here and cut a bit on the outside. I'm not sure you can see the acetate here. So yeah, so I'm just using some uh, clear, um, I think this is some uh, overlay uh, acetate so that I got in my um, office supply store. So then we can glue these two together and move this out of the way and um, here I made a tassel and uh, that I want to glue in between these two. And I have a tutorial on how to make uh, these uh, tassels if you don't know how to make them. So I will link to that below. So, and here I'm using three in one glue. 
so you can use uh, your hot glue gun or anything you like. So just take a tiny bit of glue on the end here and uh, smear it out a bit. Lay this on top. So and then we can glue them together and maybe I zoom in a bit here and then I will take a glue all over. glue these two foam boards together. Try to line them up as precise as I can. So, and then I will glue one piece of acetate behind here. This you also can cut uh, out in your die cutting machine and use uh, the same shape. But I did that sometimes and uh, it start to uh, um, crinkle into the acetate. So it's best to cut it out by hand. So, and then I will take one layer of this glitter paper on top. Just take some paper and so I'm sure it's not any dust inside here. And then we can start um, uh, taking in some uh, sequins and uh, maybe some stars and we'll see. So I like to have this on top so I will see how it uh, looks when I put it inside. And uh, here I have some sequins in the craft um, mats uh, boxes and uh, these are really great because when you pull on the side here it opens just one by one and you don't uh, get the sequence all over. So I use uh, these boxes also for my magnets. Really great. So I think we will have some uh, stars in here. So I'll just pull out some small stars I think. They can be a bit hard to open. <laughs> so some inside here and I also want some white so. and some small pearls or glass beads maybe it's called and I think also I will have some small uh, pearls inside so these are flat back pearls but it doesn't matter so just taking as much as you like to and there may be some white snowflakes also see how that looks a few of them a bit electric, <laughs> hard to get rid of, so. And also have some uh, red, uh, I'm not sure the word, but maybe you can see the shinier iridescent, I think. So pull some of these inside here as well. So I think uh, that is enough, so then we can glue on um, acetate on the top here. And uh, the last layer of glitter paper. And then it's ready to be decorated. And if you like you can also uh, take this and the layer with a um, this uh, foam inside, two layers, and put them inside here. So then they will stay in place if you build it up the same width as uh, this one. So then I think we will uh, decorate a bit around the side here. And I saw it was a lot of uh, glare in here. I'm sorry for that. I didn't notice before now, so I tried to adjust my lighting a bit. So hope it shows better up now. So around here I will use uh, some flat back pearls and these are from Maya Road 
or you can just use some stickles if you like to. So then we will take some glue around the sides. So then I just will have uh, some dangling on the outside. So I start maybe a couple of inches from the side here and just place them. So, and then we do the same for the other side. So, and then it's best to leave this uh, to dry for some minutes. So then I will be back. So now I've left it to, to dry for some minutes and maybe you can see the shaker effect here. It's really fun. So then we will um, glue on the hanger here and you can poke a hole here if you like to or you can just glue it uh, straight on. So we're uh, using some seam binding. And on the back as well. This is maybe uh, cut it at 15 inches or so, so you take the length you would like to. And I also made some bows with uh, my um, uh, bow it all from uh, Sutter, and these are many great tutorials on here to YouTube, on YouTube. So just uh, search for it if you like to find it. So here I've taken four layers on the front here, and the same for the back side. So then I will glue this one here. So this is a white uh, seam binding. And I will take a bit of glue on the sides as well. Also these will fall uh, down here so I just pull it out up like so. straighten them up so I know it will fall down. So and uh, this you also need to <laughs> let uh, dry for some minutes if you don't use a hot glue gun. But uh, these embellishments and so can fall off with a hot glue gun so it's best to use some uh, strong glue here. And um, here I have a lot of embellishments or uh, trims from um, uh, my little dreamer. So I cut some of them apart. So uh, I will think I will use uh, this on the top here and uh, maybe uh, take this on the top, dangling a bit. And this on the bottom here. So I just cut it off with um, my Tim Holtz uh, scissors. This you can use for metal. So, I, so it was a bit piece here loose. I'll take that off. So, and um, you can use a bling here in the center, or you can take some leaves, or uh, if you have some die cuts out, you can place them here. And there I have a little angel. But I think I will just use um, bling and pearls on this one. So here I have another one, so we'll just cut that apart. I think I'll place it over here. So, yeah. so then we can glue these on. So then I will let this uh, to dry for some minutes and I will glue the exact the same on uh, the back side and then I will be back.
So now I let it stay to dry for a bit and I also want to cover up here the glue marks on the top here. So here I have some uh, bling from um, Pripa and uh, I will use uh, this light silver one on each side. And uh, then I think also I will have some stickles on the top here. So uh, I'm using uh, star dust uh, stickles. And this is from uh, Ranger, I think. Yeah. So I will have some on the top here, and also will have a bit on this pulse here, just a tiny bit. And I will have a dot. Each these and also some of on these pearls here. So I think that's good. So then I will let this uh, dry up and do the same for the other side, but we can cut uh, these off. So I like to offset it a bit, so uh, just take it in an angle here. So this belongs to this side here, and the other side, take it a bit longer. So, and you can also take uh, stickles on the end here to uh, secure the ends if you like to. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful and that you maybe will give it a try. It's so fun to make and it's really fast and easy to do. And it's great to use for Christmas presents also. Or hang it on your, on your Christmas tree or in the window. So, um, and if you have any questions, please look below the video. There you will find uh, the link to my blog where I answer questions. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.